Now the first step is to disable the Steam input. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the controller tab and over here, select disable Steam input. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So after you disable it, you have to restart the game. Make sure that you restart the game, launch the game once again and then check. If that does not work, you can even try to enable the Steam input. So if that does not work, you can enable Steam input and then you can restart the game and then check. But for many players, disabling Steam input has worked. So check which one is working fine for you. Next step is to disable Steam input and then restart your computer. This has also worked for many players. So you can go to properties, controller tab, select disable Steam input and then you can restart your computer. After the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, next step is to and Xbox and Xbox related services in the task manager. So make a right click in the start menu and then go to task manager. Now, if you have any services uh, that says Xbox, so in my case, it's only Xbox, so you can end Xbox. If you find Xbox game bar services or any other Xbox services, just end the task in, in task manager and then check. Next tips to next step is to update controller using playstation or xbox accessories app so if you have xbox controller then you can install this xbox accessories app you can open microsoft store on your computer and if it is not installed you can install it from microsoft store install it once you install it you can open xbox accessories app and then connect your controller using the usb cable make sure that you use a wired connection so connect controller using the usb cable or else it will not detect so once you connect it i'm connecting now now once you connect it you will see this three dots highlighted click on it and then you will see update option over here if there is any update so in my case it's already up to date so if you see update now update it click on continue and let the update complete once the update is complete now you have to restart the game and then you can check now if you have playstation controller in that case you can install playstation accessories app in that case you can go to google type in playstation accessories app and then go to playstation website you can download this and then you can run this exe file and install it once installed you can launch xbox uh, playstation accessories app and then connect your controller now once you connect your controller update uh, in my case here you can see up to date if there is any update you will see update option you can update your controller and then you can check now the next step is to still not working the next step is to playstation controller user you can use ds4 windows application so you can even use this application so you can search for ds4 windows you can install it and then you can configure your controller and then you can launch the game and then check next is to launch steam in big picture mode now for this you can go to steam at the top right uh, here you can see big picture mode icon so top right here you can see big picture mode icon click on enter big picture mode now once the steam is in big picture mode now you can launch the game from here and then you can check still not working uh, the next step is to disconnect all the additional usb adapter which is connected to the computer so if you have any external devices which you're not using you can just disconnect it if you have like if you have external keyboard connected you can disconnect external keyboard launch the game and then whenever you want you can connect once the game is up and running disconnect additional joystick or controller con connected sometimes we have extra control connected disconnected disconnect arcade stick disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single mon monitor if you have any kind of virtual controller like v joy you can uninstall it or you can disable it and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to use wired connection so if nothing is working in that case you can connect uh, in that case you can connect your controller using the usb cable use the wired connection and then you can launch the game and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel